Okay, a uh, 500 Newton force is applied to an object at an angle 60 degree from the horizontal. If the objects travel with a constant velocity of 20 meter per second, calculate the power expended on the object. Okay, good. Again, this example is like the example before. I have one what, uh, done a video uh, talking about the constant velocity. Uh, the keyword here it is the constant velocity. So what I want to ask is um, this question, this power. He didn't mention at what time, isn't it? He didn't mention what time is it? Ah, uh, so this power is instantaneous power or average power. He didn't mention given give a specific time. Uh, so what formula should we use for this power? Yeah, because no specific time. Ah, uh, but the key here is. Constant velocity, this object travels with a constant velocity. So, meaning that, uh, okay, this velocity is constant. Okay, so since velocity is constant, the average power, yeah, because he didn't mention at what time, so this one should be considered average power. Uh, it should be considered as average power because no, no particular time. However, because it is a constant velocity, constant velocity, so we don't use the formula for average power. We can use the formula for instantaneous power because if velocity is constant, if velocity is constant, let's look back to the concept. If velocity is constant, the average power formula, we don't use the delta W over delta T. The, if constant velocity, the average power actually is the e, the average power is actually equal to the instantaneous power at any time, uh, because at any time, because at any time the velocity is still the same. Velocity is constant. Uh, so if velocity is constant, so every cos theta is constant all the time. So the instantaneous power is equal to the average power. Okay, so that's why. For, for the case of constant velocity, the average power, we can use the formula from instantaneous power, Fb cos theta. Okay, because the velocity is constant. Ah, okay, so we use the formula for Fb cos theta, huh? for average power. Ah. So for this one, we use the formula, okay, the, the, uh, we, can, uh, we just write it down is equal to the instantaneous power at any time at any time so it is f dot v uh, f dot v or okay and it is f v f v cosine theta now one thing is this force is using what force uh, this 500 newton lah Okay, applied to the force. So, what is a force? What is a power expanded on the object? Should be this uh, 500 Newton force. So, this is the 500 Newton force. Um, okay, so, right. So, the force is 500 Newton. Just put 500 Newton. What is the velocity? Uh, 20 meter per second. So, just put 20 meter per second. Cosine. What is the angle between? What's the angle between um, the, uh, the force and the velocity? Uh, because it says the force is 60 degree. You see that? Uh, it's 60 degree from the horizontal. Uh, what I can say is um, this is the object. Uh, this is the object. So force is applied. That means you can, can say uh, uh, this is the force. Uh, yeah. And... Uh, Okay, this is the direction of velocity, yeah? Direction of velocity over here, okay? So, um, 60 degree, uh, okay? The force is applied 60 degree from the horizontal. Object is moving to the right, yeah? It's moving to the right. The velocity direction is horizontal. And force is 60 degree from horizontal. So, the 60 degree is actually the angle between force and velocity. Uh, yeah, between the force and velocity, so uh, 60 degree. Uh, okay, so we use this 
we use the force and this velocity of course to maintain constant velocity there must be another force going backwards uh, there must be a friction you know there must be a friction but we don't know why is it okay we don't know why is it to maintain constant velocity zero acceleration yeah there must be a friction behind but uh, our question is power expanded on the object so this is the power by the force f only uh, yeah power by the this uh, focusing on power by force f power by force f so so our focus here is the power power by force f uh, okay so uh, what is want to say is uh, this one is the using the external force all right uh, this one also uh, okay we don't use the frictional force we don't use the frictional force we use the uh, this external force okay the 500 newton force uh, so um, the pushing force what i can say is uh, use the pushing force uh, pushing force compared with the velocity uh, we get an angle 60 degree there must be a friction going behind to maintain uh, uh, the net force equal to zero yeah acceleration become zero uh, so that constant velocity but uh, our power is only power by the force f so only only the power of the pushing force this is actually the you can say this is the pushing pushing force uh, so we use the pushing force uh, to multiply with velocity uh, use the pushing force to multiply with velocity so that's why we use the 500 newton we don't think about the net force don't think about the net force don't think about friction okay just think just this one okay so what's the answer yeah what's the answer let's calculate yeah let's calculate so 500 times 20 for sine 60 so my answer is a 5000 watt 5000 watt okay is that correct 5000 watt yes that's correct that's correct yeah my answer is correct. Okay, that's all for these questions.